Good afternoon. A secret military lab in southwest China simulated an attack on a United States Navy aircraft carrier. And they employed hypersonic missiles and satellites that were in low Earth orbit. But a key element of their tactics involve electronic warfare, which they use to confuse our Navy's air defense systems. The effective strike range of an American aircraft carrier is the planes that are sitting on its deck, which is about 620 miles. In the Chinese simulation, the missiles were launched from 745 miles away. The missiles go straight up to an altitude of 124 miles, and then the missiles head down toward the ships. The ships don't know the missiles are in the air at all until 10 minutes after they've been launched, and by then the missiles are inbound at just 30 miles away. The reason the missiles were not detected sooner is because of Chinese satellites, which are equipped with electromagnetic weapon systems. These systems were suppressing the radars of the ships that accompany the aircraft carriers. The missiles that are inbound are being assisted by three Chinese satellites in theater and in position above the American naval forces. The satellites identify the radar signals from our battle group and they fire back signals of the same frequency, which means that the echoes are filtered out by our systems as background noise. Using space-based systems in this way has another huge advantage in the scope, how large of an area can be effectively covered. With just about 30 satellites or so in low Earth orbit, attacks can be coordinated almost anywhere. The key vulnerability to us is that the U.S. Navy uses the spy radar systems, and it's hoped that we're going to keep using them for the next 40 years. But the spies have been used for 40 years already, so electronic warfare experts from other countries have been studying them for a long time and how they work. And two satellites working together can overwhelm the spy radars from different angles and create false alerts all around. Back to the missiles, which are now 30 miles away and moving at hypersonic speed. The missiles radar jamming systems turn on now and direct the missiles onto their target. The missiles used in the Chinese simulation are a secret too, and if they exist would cause serious problems, and that they imply a high level of maneuverability in the terminal phase of hitting the target. Most missiles are fire and forget, or a version of fly-by-wire, whereby the last moments of a missile's trajectory is fixed, locked onto the target. But this Chinese simulation suggests that their missiles would be able to approach a target with a variable trajectory, based on inputs received in real time by the weapon's own systems. The missile used in their sim seems to be similar to Chinese YJ-21 hypersonic anti-ship missiles, which are deployed on Chinese destroyers now. The Chinese claim that the 21 is a carrier killer missile, which can fly at 10 times the speed of sound, meaning that enemy air defenses have just a few moments to react after air defense radars pick them up. Theoretically, though, if these missiles are coordinating with low Earth orbit satellites with EW signal suppression, and if they had variable trajectory on approach, we would never know they were coming at all. Hunan province, countryside. Be good. I pray for courage and strength to face temptation and trials. May we empower you to overcome. Holy persecution and trials that are going to follow. of the cold and spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven.